Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, if you uh, are enjoying the eye candy that is Zach Fair, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, just so he can hear the notification gods just leave. Now, uh, for today's question, what, if you grew up playing Final Fantasy VII, what is the your most favorite unhinged um, rumor that you heard? Example. There's a website, I'm fairly certain it's still active, where you could find a bunch of rumors about how to get certain things. One of the rumors I read was that you could get a white chocobo that will take you to the moon where you fight the cheese weapon. And it would give you a weapon that would do undo a certain event in the original storyline. Keeping that original story, that original event hidden, or a secret, because anyone who's played the original knows what it is. But I just found that hilarious, because cheese weapon. Come on. Uh, obviously it's total BS. But I love that, that story, or that thing. There was also a weird one I heard where somehow... You could get Squall Lionheart from Final Fantasy VIII in Seven. Now, this is actually a fun little thing, because um, one of the main villains, Adia, from Eight, was originally designed for Final Fantasy Seven. It was just um, de decided that she didn't fit the theme they were going for with Seven, and decided to push her into Eight. So there is kind of a little nugget, very tiny grain of truth to the concept of 8 being in 7 before the game was even in development because of that original bit. That's a fun little, uh, little uh, thing for you. That being said, let's go see Aerith and Cloud. Oh, Aerith's with uh, her mom. Oh, Cloud, no! He's up! Alright, jump in the way. The vagaries of fate. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speed recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Hey. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on, the are the guy's desperate to prove himself. Whoa, wait a second. Is this the bigs from our world in Zax? Because... Based off this storyline with Crisis Core, which I'm not getting into entirely... Cloud never met Biggs. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A zack of all trades. Yeah. Why? Because one's not enough. I do like that they did include um some of Undercity here. Destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is an idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this multiversal thing going on. Ooh, that's Sector 7. 
Yeah, we're under five. You ever wondered about your purpose in life? Or six. What you're doing here? Sure. From time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hmm. I'm still trying to get uh my brain wrapped around Big Snow and Cloud, even though Cloud it should be impossible. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. These days, My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. What do you think is going to happen to our baby? Huh. Greetings, greetings, all! Treat you and yours to something special, but remember, only one per person. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go like the guy who only has to worry about the how? Doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? You uh, were the guy with Aerith. Right? Whoever brought you back, you I guess. Make and assuming there was up. someone, who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. I wonder if the uh, Arbiters of Fate had something involved with it. It's just up ahead. Huh. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Right next to Aerith's blades? Seriously? Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> Hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever joined Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those, and hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. I guess I should probably head on too. Hmm. Home, huh? So I'm starting to wonder if we will actually get Zack as a party member or if uh 
in the third game he'll come out as one. I was actually didn't think this was going to be home. I just wanted to see if I could go up to Aerith's place. Ooh. That's just sad. All the flowers are gone. Mostly because I think uh, Elmira can't handle cooking. Or taking care of them. I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? <laughs> Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. you, wasn't it? Hello in there. of the deed. Well, I am confused. Ooh, a weapon. Ceremonial staff, alright. New toy for Aerith. Pretty. Uh, hmm. Contra ward, fill the to be gate within the ward to increase your allies. Interesting. Four. I'll equip it. Duration. That might as well combat. I should put her to square or to replace red and get rid of this with a new one. So yeah, as I mentioned the last set, um, the Gi were never really mentioned in great detail. I just sort of assumed they were a rival 
tribe within Cosmo Canyon, which they kind of are, but not to this degree. So it has me fascinated. not bound to the planet and so she rejects them because you have to come from the life stream to return to it which means these dudes can't die right <laughs> they're invincible i'm not sure that's something to celebrate being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death as if you know anything about dying uh, i mean are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. That's actually an interesting uh, little reference to the Kate Sith. Um, hold on a second. I want to make sure I get this right. Um, the Fey Celtic mythology. Here we are. It's a fairy Celtic mythology said to resemble a large black cat with white with a white spot on its chest. Legend says that it's a spectral cat that haunts the Scottish Highlands. Legends surrounding the creatures are common in Scottish folklore. But, uh, a few occur in Irish. Uh, some common folklore suggests that the Kate Sith was not a fairy, but a witch that could transform into a cat nine times. So they are sort of a spirit creature as well. I wonder if the, the Gi were with Genova when she crashed. No, they found her in the nor the northern caverns. Bam! Going. Owie. Owie. That ATB gauge is actually kind of useful. HUB ward, I should say. I forgot they have the petrification ability. No, oh, sorry, it's GI. I'm gonna find another Gi boss. It was our fate to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. Oh, 
Are they talking about... Okay. That could work. I know what they're... I think I know what they're referring to. And if they can, then it might actually work. Alright, got these guys. Uh, my eye. My friend. Come on, we'll wait. Aerith. Go. Ouchies. Come on. Go get. Tifa. Stop that. Not on Fira. On her. Damn. Items. Mega Potion. There we go. Huh. I do think I know what it is. It all depends on how, how the, on the definition. On what they determine as peace. Oh no. Okay, now I think I'm getting the I think I think I'm getting a better picture. That could actually be an interesting explanation for it. Huh. Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Take uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him?
Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. It is what I think it is. Oh no. The fucking black materia. That is definitely something we don't want them to get a hold of. Sorcerer. Alright, come on. There it is. Is it Here you, go. Ah! you can stop that? It's gonna be so annoying. Archer, Archer, Sorcerer. No, you don't. All right, now we're good. Mess with that, awesome. Oh, jeez. I was not prepared for the Gi wanting the black materia. Alright, let's just fuck it. You're being annoying. We'll get into what the black materia is in a little bit, I guess. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. What are you guys? The materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. 
Please. It alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. Hmm. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. You will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Huh? I guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. All right. So the Gi were the found with the forgers of the Black Materia. Okay. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. I'm starting to have a curious idea of the purpose of the, the original purpose of the Black Materia. Obviously, we, I I know what it does according to the base, the original game. But I wonder if that was its original purpose or not. salvation or whatever but to me it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc no nope. no way in hell are we letting them have it we can't let him have it either him Sephiroth did no one else sense him no you're the resident expert if you say Sephiroth was there I'll believe you wait 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 so are you saying Sephiroth's after the black materia too probably Better to assume he is. Oh, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my materia! <laughs> so, Pete Sith, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I wouldn't they say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Boogie. Hmm. I'm going to keep it a little bit of secret for a little bit longer until more information about the black material is revealed. My theory, if I remember it. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh. Uh, what did become of that thing? 
Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a sign of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well, now. A friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Let's go! Traversing the settlement. Speak with guides and they will escort you to the various locations. Alright, cool. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you right. in need of guidance? Entrance. That makes things so much easier. Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Terminal. I bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. Hmm? hmm? We should go. Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Sounds good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Nibelheim area first. And we will come back to do the Proto Relic here. I want to get the side quest uh, and everything else ready over there as well. What I'm actually going to do to make sure... Because there's a chance that I may not be able to uh, come back. Or if I do come back, it'll be... Uh, yeah. Um, I'll have an extra save point ready to go. Just in case it gets rid of us, um, any, uh, what you call it, there we go. In case it gets rid of any ability to come back, I should say. Continuing onwards. Or if it gets rid of any side quests. That's the word I'm looking for. Not that 
you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Since my friend, you couldn't you give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. I'm just curious about these landing strips. Hmm. Or if I just land on a, 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 a strip and just go the, the proper way. I'm assuming that's Mount Nebel. people yeah it looks like my needle over there if not it's the coral mountain range wasn't very far. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. Alright, so they did go just straight up Red having new, uh, his original voice. His actual voice. Odin! Ho 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 ho. My boy. So how far... The map actually got bigger. Crap. So as a side note, uh, we're in the Nibel region now. Wutai, uh, Yuffie's home, should be over far over here. Dang. Okay. I might try to go to... Uh, uh, what you call it? Nibelheim, and then we'll call it there. to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It's a, uh, sorry. Not to worry, though. The terminal's as snug as a bug in a rug. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no, no. expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah. It's this or nothing. We should get going. <laughs> I am so fascinated to see where this is gonna go. I'll, I'll collect things later on. Now worry, I'll worry about all this stuff later. I want to get to Nibelheim first to see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> 
That would be nice if we can buy a chocobo. I'll look at some fight in. I'm also surprised we're not getting flashbacks uh, from Cloud. Trauma does that to a guy, or to a person. Alright, I should. Yeah, I can still fast travel back. Let's do an obligatory save. I'll reload this one if I find out that I can't uh, go back after getting the new behind. Gala Bridge. Scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. I mean, I thought he got us lost, and cause it looks different. So, who do you think rebuilt it? Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. Oh boy, best shovel unavailable. Lovely. Good sir, I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts, and since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until, you know...
five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. This is... all kinds of wrong. Check up a stage. I'm assuming that's how we get our chocobos. View. Alright. The services we provide here are strictly for the benefit of our residents. My mom needs to move in with me. I know you allow that for immediate family. Like I told you before, I was not gonna need a smidge more time. All right. Being a caretaker has been easy, but it is rewarding. Question: This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams climb me, doesn't it? So let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just. Ugh. Which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, nah, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the end. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. And that there? Tifa's house. Let me guess. This is where you kept lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave. Probably. Sounds like something I do. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. Aw. So we know Tifa's inside her room. Certainly don't look ill. Passing through like Which is now a treatment center, because of course. You might have noticed how each of our patients have number tattoos on their shoes. You know. I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? 
I've thought about it ever since waking up in Corral. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> The problem is, anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Like it was fate. <laughs> yeah, like it was fate. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision, because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? I, uh, what? Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. I kinda hate that about myself. Aw, Martifa. Can I play it? Uh, play it? I kind of want to play for Tifa. What have we got access to? Let's play our theme. It's been a minute, so let's try it.
Yay! I actually didn't do that bad. A B. I really love that piano minigame. It's annoying to use it at first, but uh, I like it. There you go, Tifa. Alright, where are the others? out that Shinra's in charge of getting permission to take pictures was all my photos will be reviewed and if Shinra's just got to impress those if you find a good photo spot don't hesitate to let me know no problem I'll do it eventually just relax you're all right so the evil it cuts over nice going to my house well now who might you be Ah, oh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. They say I'm always gossiping. <laughs> no secret safe with me unless I see. Bloody blah, blah, bloody, bloody, blah. Oh, how I love to spill the tea. Cute. All right. Come on, there we go. One over there. Oh, someone's in here. Oh boy. They're everywhere you look. You don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? Hell yeah, you're right. Screw them. That's the spirit. Screw them. We'll make them pay for what they did to y'all's home. Seriously, fuck them. together as soldiers. You were here with me five years ago. You came with me on the mission. To you. 
I would have loved more moments like this throughout the game. Where you could actually come across bits and pieces of uh, Cloud's memories. And just piece it all together. That would have been awesome. As a side note, I've decided that when I'm done with this, I will go through Crisis Core. Sort of a, uh... And here's what really happened. Uh, I don't see red anywhere. What's wrong, Kate? I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom. Mm. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Ah, uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. So can I fast travel again? So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for a while. Sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. Just make it snap. Mysteria needs me. Okay, good. I can still do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this Chocobo Sage. Who I'm assuming it's going to give us the Chocobo. We'll do the side quest for it. Then we'll call the set. How far away is this... Choco Sage? Bit of a bit. Alright. Can I... Yeah, I should still be able to use the thing. Cool. I don't see Chad anywhere. Oh, there he is. Alright. Let's get this done. So we can call it and I can do, I can do a lot of things off screen. Uh, like I said, any proto-relic stuff I will do off sc or on screen for you guys. Like always. Just realized Chocobo Sage. That's actually interesting that we're doing it here. Uh, the Choco Sage was a actual character in the original, but you can only find him in one location. And uh, he was how you could learn how to get, uh, how you could relatively easily get uh, gold Chocobos. Relatively being the app word. Um, through him, you would gain access to, uh, nuts that you could feed to your chocobo to help, uh, raise, uh, younger chocobos. There was a whole breeding minigame involved with it. It was a lot of fun. Pain in the ass, but a lot of fun. <laughs> Going up now. And there, Charlie spot. Um, in the original, there were, let me think, regular chocobo, black chocobo, green chocobo, light blue, dark blue, 
and gold. You could see white chocobos, and I think a few other colors, but you couldn't actually use them. Oh, hey! Huh? Cloud? Billy? Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage! A living legend! Surely you've heard of the man! <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <coughs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? You don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that. So I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training. It's manual labor. You see it too, right? So weird. Come on, he's just jerking you around. I suppose I haven't done much to pick up after him. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo, neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. <sighs> My god, that's all I can get around here. Let's take a look at these sh uh, choco shops, see what we can get. Are you here to learn from the sage as well? Ooh, I really like that. I know the sage is a bit of a Alright, let's head over here. Sharp turn. There we go. Ha. This is gonna be interesting. Coming for you, my beautiful birdie. That chocobo over there. It's just gotta be the sages. Oh, that's gorgeous. Chocobo Bates. Oh, okay. I think that's what you need to do. I think I need to get her over here. Yep, I believe it's leaning towards the entrance. Ah! 
all while avoiding the uh, exploding cacti. Over there. Let's get you down here. Oh no, it's gonna run right into it. This is definitely different. Where's my checkpoint at? Is the question. Oh, that's, that's useful. You bitch. Let's get you in position. You should probably get it to go up that way. Stay there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Right there should do. Come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. A little closer in. Checkpoint made. Oh no. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. The angle's really awkward. But I got a checkpoint right there, though. So glad I moved that truck a little bit further ahead.
Oh, she's fucked. So I gotta get her right there, huh? Okay. I should do it. Come on, move. All because she didn't want to move. Because it was focused on her more. Ugh. So our back's going to be too we want to go down there. Got her. Jeff Yuffie. That's a gorgeous chocobo. <clears throat> Hold L2 to launch yourself high to the air with a choco jet. Now you can also use a stunted version of the ability while in land. Let's get her back to old stage again, shall we? Oh, it's a hover. I was trying to test it, okay. Start with the extra long set, I just really wanted to get this chocobo. There she is. I have to collect these for something as well. <laughs> Grab that one. Oh, there's quite a few of them here. Don't know what these are for. 
I remember reading about them. This is awesome. Alright, let's head back to um, the Sage. We should be right over here around the corner. Curious how it's doing this, but hey. There's that chocolate grass right there. I'm just hovering. <laughs> That's the wrong spot. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of. Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it! This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about it. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. See, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave, got them hooked on gambling, pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the Gold Cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. Thirty tufts ought to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> All right, and this is where we're going to call it, finally. I hope you guys enjoyed the set. I'll see you guys next time. We will continue on from here. If you'd like to support the channel in any other way other than watching the videos, feel free to check out my book. If not, feel free to uh, recommend it to a friend. 
Links in the description and on the main page. It is a fancy story. Do not feel obligated to buy it if you do not want to. I wrote it for my enjoyment of writing. So I'll see you guys in the next set. We'll continue on from here. But till then, as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.